Jason here with head coach Scott Cadell. Coach, uh, it's been a day now for it to sink in. Anthony Parati, first All-American in your tenure, first since 2002. Just talk about what that means to you and what it means to the program. Uh, I'm just happy. First, happy for the kid, and then, you know, happy for our program. Our, our, our guys back at school put a lot into this season. There's no, you know, hiding the fact that the program has been burdened with the with the, the asterisk that we haven't had an All-American. All 28 guys on the roster understand it. It's talked about. It's not something we hide from. Um, so I think those guys back at school are, are just as excited as we are out here. And, and you know, for Anthony to do it was a. Uh, was just an unbelievable story, you know. He came out of nowhere. I don't know how many guys lost first round and then come all the way back. It might be, you know, two or three, but just a great run. And here's the best thing about wrestling, right? You got a rally back this morning because we got one more big one coming up. So we're focused on that right now. But it, it certainly is a, a big step forward for the program. Is it surprising to you at all? He came in unseated. He knocked off three seated guys ahead of him yesterday to become an All American. Placed third at the IWA Championships after coming in 13 and 11. Just what does it mean to you for the, for him to come in and you know kind of make some noise at, out of nowhere here? Yeah, I'm not I'm not surprised because one, the kid's a gamer, and two, he believes in, in this staff and, and what the coaches are telling him, and he, he bought into it. And uh, it's a hard thing to do, you know. He's broken some bad habits over the last couple of years, and he's really developed his style of wrestling and his game. And uh, so I'm not surprised. I've been coming to this tournament for a long time uh, as an athlete, as a spectator, and now as obviously a college coach. And I've seen some crazy things happen, some uh, some unbelievable upsets, even just this, this last couple of days. So I'm not surprised because I understand everything, anything can happen. And, you know, it's kind of surreal, though, when it's your guy do, you know, the buzz of the tournament and pinning people and pinning people in 10 seconds, you know. So it's a... Uh, you know, I, I thought he could do it just like I thought Billy Smith can do it, and, and I wouldn't have been surprised if it was Vinny or Theobald. So uh, great for Anthony. Again, he, he bought into everything after the Drexel match and just listened to his coaches, and, and I credit those guys as well. You know, Coach Molinaro, Coach Pollard, Coach Leo, we, we have a si system that's in place, and if you buy in, good things will happen, and he certainly is very, very loyal to it. Yeah, and you talked a little bit about it. That pin over Roger Pena, Oregon State, 10 seconds, uh, second fastest time in NCAA championships history. Uh, just he takes, he gets the takedown, the whistle blows. What's going through your mind after he gets that pin? Uh, it's crazy because we talked about it. You know, it's some of the things he's been doing is getting in that position and rushing cradles and getting back points, but not securing the fall. So it was about hitting that particular move, which. He hits quite a bit, and guys usually roll through because he rushes it. He he squeezed it, and you know it was it was over. And that's he's done it before. He's won a dual meet when he was a true freshman back at the rack against Navy. I think it might have been a 14 second fall. Uh, so he's certainly capable of doing something like that. He's very very dangerous, and a guy who has that type of stuff can be very dangerous or, or going to do well at these type of tournaments because you never know where it's coming from. And he let it all hang out and. Uh, you know, 10 seconds is pretty quick. We didn't even really get, get a chance to sit, and, but heck, it's over and done with, so uh, we were excited about it. Great. Congratulations, Coach. Thank you. Thank you.